Okay, so this is how you resize images in Lightroom. So I've already imported them here by pressing import and choosing the images and pressing import. And here are the images that I've imported. What I'm going to do now is crop them to fit a 1080p HD video. And so I'll click on my first image and press the shortcut R which is the crop shortcut, and that's going to take me directly over to my develop module. From here, you'll see the uh, rule of thirds grid lines pop up, and you'll see the kind of transform or crop box that you can do stuff like this with if you'd like. Um, but all I'm going to use it for is to resize and crop it to the 1080p preset here. And that aspect ratio is 16.9. And you see it's 1920 by 1080. That 1080p stands for the, uh, the height or tall side of the video. So I'll click that, and you see the box will change. So I'm just going to move it, resize it, and then press Enter. And now that image is squared away. And I would go and do that with all my other ones. So I'd press R, choose 1080p, preset, move the box, press Enter. Now, there is another shortcut that you can use to apply the 1080p crop to all your images really quickly, and I'll show you that. So if I'm in the develop module and I press command C, the copy settings pops up. All I have to do is check none, choose crop, press copy, and the copy set or the crop setting that I just did. I can now paste onto any other image or sync to a bunch of images and I'll show you. So if I go back into my library mode with all these images and then I'll just shift click on my last image and now there's two different shortcuts here but I'm going to show you the first one is sync. So if I do shift command S the synchronized settings window will pop up and my last copy settings were cropped, so that's all that's checked. And if I press synchronize, you'll see every image crop instantly to that 1080p size, and you saw them all change. Um, the only thing that I would have to do with each of those images is I would have to go in individually and maybe uh, recompose them like so. But as you can see, they're, they're all automatically that size. So I may just have to go in and just move it around. Now, the other way that I can do it, so I'll just reset this image really quick. The other way that I can do it is I can simply, if I'm in develop mode, I can just, and I have copied a previous setting, like the crop setting that I just did, I can actually press Command V. When I do that, it, it pastes that crop setting on top of that individual image, and you saw that change instantly. And again, if I want to move that around, I just press R and then do that. Okay. Um, once I'm done cropping all the images to the 1080p size, I, per I select them all. I can do Command A or Control A on PC. Press Export. And I need to choose my folder that it's going to go into. So I'll put it in the desktop and I'll put it in a subfolder called slideshow images resized and I may even put the size that I did it so I'll just put 1080p that way I know that these are resized for 1080p video I'll go down to file settings I'll just keep it at 100% for the video and resize to fit width and height The width is 1920 for a 1080p video. The height is 1080p. That's where we get the 1080p from. And resolution stays at 72. I press export. It exports my 14 files that I just cropped and resized. And then if I go to that folder, let's see where I'm going to put it. Show can actually organize that. So 
on my desktop I have a folder called slideshow images resized 1080p inside of that I have all my images resized for a 1080p video.